Hey guys, this is RLC's 321's fantastic plastic back again with another model kit build video. It's a continuation of the VSS Franklin from Mobius Models. Now, as, as mentioned in the previous video, we're going to be starting doing the, the lighting for, for this. And I'm going to need 10 LED strips of 3 of this. These, this is 5 volts. This is all going to be one on 5 volt because I'm using the Arduino Nano and I haven't taught myself yet on how to make a 12 volt power supply for it so or 9 volt power supply so I'm just doing 5 volts for now so I'm going to just doing the the LED strip lighting for now and how to solder the, these together put them in around in here inside the lighting try and get where I can I need to put another some in here but I'm going to have to split them Actually, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't need to split them. I should be able to just lay it on there. And that should, in theory, I'm, I might have to split those two. I don't know yet. Don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. I might have to just do it as a two-one on, on these. Just to put two on there, and that should light inside there, hopefully. And also, I just re realised. I also need to put. LED strip lights in here and here and one here for underneath the bridge to light the, the stairs for the bridge so just one LED so I can either use this put it in there or a brighter one but I think I'll just stick with these make everything all even on the inside of the ship so I thought we'll get started and doing doing that now I've bought myself some of this wire which is a really thin gauge wire there we go and that didn't work either really go away B go on no no this is not your house the door, that way that's it go out the window there you go good boy god bloody no that scared the shit out of me coming right from my face right okay so anyway as I say I bought this wire off of the Amazon um, I did buy one and I'm still waiting for it to come in and then I realized it's not coming until June and that's because it's not coming in and coming it's coming from somewhere else not shipped from the UK so then I bought another one which is actually cheaper <laughs> than the original one I bought but hey ho so this is this the wire I'm going to be using for most of this kit. Now we've got most of the colours we're going to need so if we could just go go through. So the black and the red. Right, come on, come to Papa. The black and red are gonna be my main my main power. Okay? So anything that's not gonna have special effects like any any lights that are not gonna be flashing and or, or or anything like that and the flickering LED is just gonna be powered so they're gonna have this the red and the black the negative of all of the wires all the all of the other wires okay the 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 effects wires like the the navs and the the, the flashing they can all go into one negative pin or ground pin on the Arduino Arduino so we only I only need to figure out what I want to do for the the strobes and the the flashing and the pulsing for the impulse engine so strobe the the power for the strobe is going to be the blue the navigation for the the red and the green flashing it's going to be the purple and the pulsing actually do you know what let's change that the red the green is going to, for the red and green flashing is going to be there and the orange is going to be for the pulse okay so I only need that many wires at the moment you know the five different colored wires so but before we do that let's get started on 
our black and our red. So that's the ones we need the most at the minute. Because that's the one I'm going to be doing the most. So, let's get our red. Um, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do because this is all falling apart on me. Let's do that there. Let's just very quickly tie this into a little itty bitty knot. And that's just to keep that that little bunch together so it doesn't spread out all over the place. Let's do a quick snip there. And I can put this over here out of the way. So let's get the colours I need. So we want my red, and we're going to be working on the black, and then it's going to be those three for the others. So these three, I'm going to use the yellow as the negative. Let's put this in, into my little cubby hole. The, the yellow as the negative for the special effects ones. Okay the gist to make my life easier and then obviously as long as I know that's going to be the negative so then I know that'll be just coming on to there right so at the minute we're not using this though so I'm just gonna put this over here all this over here and hopefully this should be enough if not I've obviously I've got more so I can always make more now these, this LED strip tape, it doesn't need um, resistors. Is, have I got the right one? Yes, I've got the white. White one, yep. Because it's got resistors built in. These are going to have to have like the, the green here and the red. They're going to have to have resistors, but I'm going to put them on before I join them together. Okay. Right, so as I said, I want... 10, 12 in there, so that's one, one, two, three, one, two, three, and this is a, a warm white glow that I've got on here, I'm going to be using. Um, I'm wondering if I could do something like that though. Mm. No, no, I won't, I won't. Um, you could do. I mean, I think I've seen um, Lou Del Masso. He's done a, a video build of this when it was just as a test print. And he put a piece of thin piece of card around there and then glued the the LED tape onto that. You could do that. That's, that's no problem. I'm just deciding to do it this way. And there we go. Right. So I'm not taking the LED tape off just yet. I'm going to move my black and red wires out of the way. And I've got my soldering iron cooking. Got my cleaner. Where's my solder? There's my solder. My solder I'm using is uh, a mix of flux as well as... It's got um, flux paste in there as well as solder. But I also use... Come to Papa. There we go. In here, I've got some flux paste as well. So I usually dig use that at the same time. Now, what I also need is me helping hands. These are invaluable. You will need them. Definitely, definitely need these. So, because most of these are going to be joined up, all I'm going to do for now is put solder on the tips of these 
and I'm just going to cheat and just put a little dab of oil on of solder flux paste on on each of those. Not needed, especially because this has got flux paste in it, but it's just helpful. Get my soldering iron, and you've got to bear in mind where your plus and your minuses are on this. Here's my soldering iron. Give it a bit of a clean. Just a little dab of doobly. Tin the soldering iron. It doesn't want a tin. Of course not. Why would none of my soldering irons ever want a tin? Never. No idea why that is. Get off. Okay, so not tin in the soldering iron. It might be too hot. That's probably why. Right. What temperature is supposed to go at? Doesn't say. Oh well. Right. Okay. So. To do this, what you want to do, place your solder close to where you want to put and very gently put your soldering iron on the tip of it, but don't leave it too long. Touch the, the tip of your solder onto it. And then, there we go, it'll melt onto your bit that we need. So just lightly touch the copper bit, put the solder onto the tip of your soldering iron, and there we go. So let me show that to you now. This is just for people that don't know how to solder. I mean, I'm not great at soldering, I'm not good at it. You know you've got a good solder when it's nice and clear. If it goes dull, you haven't got a good solder. Oh, piss. Okay, so let's now do the other one. So apply a little heat onto the copper part. Come on. And the shoulder should take straight away. There we go. So that's those two pieces now soldered and ready to put wire on. I'm not going to put the wire on just yet because I'm going to put the solder on and then go go around figuring out roughly where I want to put these. So one could go. Uh, I don't want to put it at the bottom though. No. So we could put. There. So let me just mark off where I'm going to put these. Because that'll just make my life a little bit easier. So I want one there. And one about there. One about there. And one about there. This is just going to be a, a, a rough guide. I may decide to change it later. And another one about here. that's going to be slightly over that wire because I'm stupidly made a mistake and left that there and one about here and then this final one roughly about Okay, so that's giving me rough areas to where I want to put put these. 
Now, the thing is, let's move that out of the way. I'm going to need to join these all, all up, of course. So if we put that there, and when you join them all up, you got to make sure you're keeping the plus and the minuses in their correct positions. Especially when you're soldering it all together. And so it looks like I may only need just a small tiny pieces of wire holding these together. Uh, let's get you under there to hold everything in place as best as I can. Don't come over there. There, just stay there for now. And what I'm doing now is trying to figure out how much wire I'm going to need to connect these all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Such as should only need six. So move that along to there. Move that along there. Move that over there. Move that there. And that can stay there and then that can go here. So looking at it, I should only need not a lot of wire at all. Alright, okie dokie. <clears throat> Right, so that's giving me a rough idea. So I now know, if I get my wire, obviously the black and the red wire, hold them two together. And what I want to do first of all though, is, let me get this here. So I'm gonna I want to twirl the wire together uh, for want of a better word okay let's make sure they are both roughly even they're even on that end Okay. Put that back on in there, but that's not going to hold these, is it? No, unless. But I'm going to bring you guys back in a minute once I find the bits that I need. Alright, okay. Alright, so I've now got them together. <clears throat> so, very low spin speed. I'm going to hold on to this end here and pull it tight and basically just start spinning and just pull it tight for a little bit there we go now I can undo that and I've now got my black and red all intertwined together. So, <clears throat> now I've messed all this up again. Let's put everything back so I can figure out what I'm doing here. There. 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 Okay. Let's move this over. So I'm looking like only about half a cent, about this much wire for joining each of these up. So I'm going to clip the wire there and I want one, two, three, four, five, five of those connections for the moment. Da 
You know, I hope you guys are enjoying this. How many do you say? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. One, two, three, so two more. There we go. Right. <coughs> so now here comes the fun stuff. With these wires, we need to. Um, this is going to sound counterintuitive, but unthread just a little bit. I mean, you saw how fast that was twisted up. So if you if you try to go any faster than that, you could have and ruined your wire. So you've got to be extremely careful. Now the other thing we need to do is strip the wire, and for that we need my wire stripping tool, which is this right here. This is absolutely brilliant. I love this thing. And all I need to do is put the wire in there and pull it down and it strips the wire. There we go. One. There. So I've now got that wire stripped. Like that. And try and keep your positive and positive in, in one area because that's going to help you when you go to put it onto the LED strip. So let's get our LED, get this first. What we need to do flux paste I'm just gonna dip both ends of the flux paste in because first of all you need to tin the wire and to do that you get your soldering iron hold on to the hold the soldering iron onto the wire a little bit and then just get some solder onto there simple really that may be a bit too much solder I'll work with what I've got. Okay. So, we've now we've got that done. <coughs> this is where the helping hands come in extremely handy. Helping hands, handy, yeah, okay. So going on this one, negatives at the top, minus at the bottom, no, pl the plus is at the top, which is your positive, and your negative is going to be at the bottom. So I'm going to put this into here, like this. Now this is where it's going to get interesting, because I can't do it that way. So I am going to have to undo that. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise keep forgetting I've got to stop doing that so bend these in just a little bit more so they'll be able to fit now I'm going to use a pair of tweezers because this thing will get quite toasty there they are so a pair of tweezers let's bring this down just a little bit too much. Okay. Because these have all been. Uh, what's the word? Not, I'm going to say light blocks, and it's not. They've all now all been tinned. So, I'm going to get you out of the way. Just gently heat up your positive one first. Lay the wire onto it and it should give it a little tug and it should take okay so 
So we've now got one soldered up. Now we need to do the other one. So heat up both the wire and your solder. And there we go. <coughs> there, so now we've got our solder attached just on that bit. Not done yet because we need to now put the solder onto this and do this side. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I've just done those two and then I'll, off camera I'll continue on doing the others. So heat up the copper bit a little bit, touch some solder on there and it should take relatively quickly. There we go. And we're going to do the similar thing again, but this time we're going to be doing... <coughs> oh, well, keep bloody coughing, I apologise. Well, it's not even coughing, it's clear up my damn throat, innit? I do apologise, guys. Right, so, we're going to do our positive one first, just because it's there. Come on, heat up. Come on. I need my. Let's use the tweezers. You need to go straight. What did I just hit? Oh, I just hit a head. One of my brushes. Damn it. <coughs> Cut. Sorry. Okay, heat up, there we go. That's our positive one. Now that the negative is being a pain because it doesn't want to. Go on properly, there we go. Come on. Heat up, heat up, heat up. No, no, there we go. No! Yeah. Right, this is how you don't solder. Because for whatever reason, this is what you're looking Really? That looks like it might have taken, actually. Right, there we go. So that looks like it has taken, only just taken, but it's taken. Um, but not great. I don't like it. Now I'm going to change, change that. So let's hold on to that there. Grab onto this bit. Oh, 
<coughs> that now should be soldered and it is. Right, let's get our thingamabobby here, our power. Get a negative, plunk that on a, onto a negative terminal right there. And that's not plugged in. Why are you not plugged in? Hang on. Okay, now that's plugged in. Let's turn you up to five volts. Okay. And what's good about this, right, because we've got the, the plus and the minus, I can actually put this plus and minus connector pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to use it on this one over here. And there we go. We now have our connected LED light. So what I'm going to do off, off camera, because I've got a lot here to do, I'm going to continue on or doing all of these all the way around. And then I'll be bringing you back when I place them in and glue them together because you should be have, have enough movement on these just to move them around a little bit. Then we're going to use the glue gun, which I've got heating up, to cover over these connections just to make sure one they don't move, put a little bit in the, the middles of these as well so again it doesn't move, and to protect the, protect the connectors as well. So I will bring you guys in a bit. You take, I'll see you in a second. Okay, well, I'm now back. That took a lot longer than I expected. <clears throat> yes. So this is pretty much what I've got going on here. Now I've got two of these that are going to be aiming inside there, so I need to hot glue those into place. So I'll do that at the, the bottom of it. Starting from here, <clears throat> going to be putting this LED strip in there then along here and all the way along got another strip that's going in there that's going to go into the pipe and that goes down there and this one is going to go into about here like so okay so this is just the top layer the bottom I'm going to put LED tape there LED tape there LED tape there and that should be it. That should all. That should be all I would need because that's going to do the bottom of the bridge. That's going to do the top of the bridge. And all, the rest of the lights inside will be able to light the edges of the bridge as well to see all those little bits that are painted in, which you probably ain't going to be able to see anyway. So I thought I'd show you putting this all together because at the minute it looks a bit of a mess. Hot glue is your friend. Make love to it. Well, don't, actually, don't do that. That's that that that'll that'll hurt. I'm not talking from experience either. Nope. So, first thing I'm going to do is lay this right there. Because that's where I want it. Okay. Then I'm going to undo this one. Lay this down roughly where I want it as well. So that's going to go about there. And this, this, the, this, uh, blah, 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 blah. the LED tape does have a sticky back plastic. So it should be relatively easy to stick things down. Except if when the sticky back plastic doesn't want to come off, that is. Come on, off you come. Ah, oh. I hate this sticky stuff. It doesn't want to come off. There we go. And Push you up there a little bit more. And there. Then get this other one. 
one. And one of the things you don't want to do, because I've, I've made this mistake before, is lay your LED tape down and try and solder it onto when it's on the, the plastic. Because you can, and I know from experience, you can accidentally, and I mean accidentally, um, <clears throat> melt your plastic so do not do that so this may be a bit of a ball lake but it's better than melting your your plastic models let's actually put that down there so I've got a rough idea where I'm putting this so we want you in the middle there and there we go and then last but not least Final one. Is going into here. Move that out of the way. And pushing that into there. So. So. There we go. I'm not worried about taking the. The plastic off of this these here because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get me glue gun try and get some glue in there all oh, right oh, my glue's melted inside there so I'm gonna have to try and pull it out here going to hot glue this into place here hold that there for a few seconds until it dries until it cools down at least streamers it's the only thing with hot glue is these bloody streamers they get everywhere okay that shouldn't move let's get this other one in place that as well right and then what I need to do is all these connections I want to put a dollop of hot glue around them keep them in place then just do a little bit of hot glue on these connectors and and just a little bit on the actual thing there and this is just to protect these connectors so they are not moving and when you when you're doing this you obviously need to make sure where you're positioning because you don't want to position it in such a way where you're covering your other lights that need to go in place so you've got to be very careful of what you're where you're, you're putting them Yeah. 
and then once we've done this what I should have said is beforehand always do a light test before you glue anything down or do anything which I've already done so here's hoping that it's gonna work <laughs> so let's get this get our negative connected up to it let's get the positive let's get the positive here For some reason the positive never wants to hold properly so that should be pretty good let's get this section on just as a temp measure and then we can have a look and you can see that it's actually lighting up really nicely it's actually also lighting up the bottom so I may not need to put any LEDs at the bottom here the only LEDs I may put in is the one for just a underneath here so it lights up the bottom of the bridge as well but yeah there we go that's that's the LED light in there and I think it's working worked out quite well it really really has obviously that's not connected yet that won't be won't be connected yet oh that's something I didn't have a look at. is that gonna light up that little piece there barely but I, I need I think I might need to file that down a little bit because it looks like there's some black glue on there or something so I'm gonna have to file that but there you go so after all that the source of, this source of section is almost done I can I can now do the um, I'm gonna do these I've had to put some of the pieces on um, as I say like this clear piece here there's a clear piece just actually I didn't have a look at those did I didn't have a look at the back end let's have a look at the back end didn't see what that looked like get on that yeah you would yeah there you go so yeah yeah no that, that lights up quite nicely as well so that's not too bad either because uh, as I said I had to put some clear parts in because I'm going to be masking using the mask gold anyway on other bits mask gold is like a liquid masking tape so I'm gonna to have to put some masking tape on liquid masking tape on there liquid masking tape on there file this down I just want the top lit the bottom the edges of that I'm just gonna paint over so all I really need to do then is put one strip of LED not even one strip I should be able to just do one bit of LED in there to be fair which I might have instead of cutting it all off I have this here which is well is that the right no that's the blue that's not gonna work that's blue no Hello? You know the orange juice that's in the fridge? Can I have some? Yes. Thank you. Right, sorry about that, guys. Right. Um, uh, yeah, so I think this is blue. Yeah, that's blue. Yeah, Do you know what I'm thinking about it? Um, I've got that blue LED tape which is right here, it's also 5 volts and those sensor domes I was just going to have like a flashing blue but uh, an LED these right there I could just use a little bit of that couldn't I? because I was just going to dip a bit of LED and an LED into 
Tamiya Clear Blue and do it that way. But I don't need to. Because these, I'm going to have these strobing, even though they're supposed to be sensors, I'm still going to have them strobing. They're like strobing sensors, so they're flashing and strobing and pushing out an area. Yeah, that's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I forgot a little bit of um, hot glue on these parts here. Um, there we go but yeah so yeah I'm, I'm, I think I'll do that so I'm gonna put in the rest of the LEDs and the good thing about these ones is they're already resisted so these blues I do not need to resist to put any resistors on so that's even better so let's just snip that off because I only need that. I only need these two. Then I can glue these into into place where they need to be. Put some obviously I need to put some wiring on it. But I can just join the wire wire up. Glue it into place. Make sure I'm pointing the LED in the right direction, so it'll be one there, one over there, and that will shine nice and blue. So then, I, with that, obviously, I'll need to make sure that I'm using the the correct one. So all of the negative wires that are coming from in here are going to join up to the main power negative. Okay, that's where they're going to join up all of the negatives are all going to join up into the one bit um, thinking about it I'm wondering if I could potentially use um, something called a chocolate block which is uh, effectively um, where you can join pieces of, e of electronics together that might be idea do I have anything like that though that is the that is the question don't think I do no okay that is a shame um, no, no 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 so I don't so that means I'm gonna have to purchase some of those you know, mini, only a small, small chocolate block will be fine. Um, I call them chocolate blocks. They're not actually called chocolate blocks. They're called electrical connectors. But I think I've got one in here that I can show you, and I do. This is obviously for my JJ prize. One of those, because then I can actually consolidate all the wires into there instead of making a mess of things like I've done on another model kit, and do it that way. Yeah, so I'm going to get some of those. So, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. Um, oh, there it is. I need to solder those together. Um, I hope you, it helped you. If you do have any questions or you want to ask any anything, feel free. I don't buy it. Don't don't say it. Well. Um. So I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, which will be very shortly. Do you take care of yourselves? Goodbye now.